Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another SandTube 3D printing video. Today we are going to be discussing the topic of 3D printer upgrades versus buying a new one for the same cost. So we're going to compare the two on that. But before we go ahead and get started, I do want to apologize that I have not put out a video recently. Um, I have been feeling a little under the weather. But because I was not feeling too hot, I had a lot of time to search the great interweb to do some research on what upgrades and how much they would cost. So I did the research, did the math, hurt my head a little bit, and then all of a sudden it hit me like a ton of bricks. That most of us do upgrades one at a time, so the cost is not that bad. But I was doing research on all the costs, I mean on all the upgrades, and they added up pretty quickly, so uh, it's a big chunk of change right there. So I started thinking, I mean my printer by itself is just officially an amazing printer. But for the amount of money I'm going to spend on the upgrades, I can actually go ahead and buy two printers or do all the upgrades and have one printer basically on steroids. So I started thinking, doing some cost analysis and weighing the options and I came to a conclusion and I want to share that with you guys, uh, the 3D printing community. So I would like to get your feedback on that uh, later on down the line. But right now, let's go ahead and get into the cost itself. Now, keep in mind guys, everybody has different printers. I'm just going off of the one I have, which is the Creality CR10. Also, these costs are not written in stone. Sometimes there's flash sales and things like that, that you can probably buy them cheaper or they might be off by a couple $20, $30 here and there. So before I get into that, I wanted to just go ahead and go over that. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one we're gonna talk about is nozzle upgrades. In my case, the MK8, uh, that's roughly around $27, okay? The next one, uh, for my printer, you got the Dual Z upgrade, which is roughly around $75. Next, we got the Octoprint or Raspberry IP, which is roughly $109. And then the next one we're talking about is Auto Bed Leveling, for those that don't have it. Those are $77. Want to get your heat bed to heat up faster? Heat bed insulation, $15. Next. Want to make your printer quieter? Let's go ahead and upgrade those fans. You will need three. Therefore, maybe, well, maybe four sometimes. $12 for three, roughly around four bucks a piece. Next is filament sensor for those of you that want to know how much filament you're actually using. That is an upgrade, ladies and gentlemen, of $16. So let's get everything together. We have the Micro Swiss MK8, you got Dual Z, Octoprint, Auto Bed Leveling, Fans, Filament Sensors, and the Heated Bed Insulation. Everything totaling out to a grand total of 331. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I bought my printer on a flash sale at Banggood for $3.59 I believe with extra shipping and all of that. Now I love my printer and I would definitely love to have two of those. Um, but with all the upgrades you get a little bit better print quality. So I'm a little confused here guys. I don't know uh, what would you, would you do if you were in my shoes and maybe this is something now that's been brought to your attention that you were thinking about too. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think, please. Uh, I would like to really get feedback from you guys on this. Leave a comment below and I'll respond to each one just to discuss this topic. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you would like to see more new content and if you think my video is interesting and helpful, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And like always guys, good luck and happy printing.